Hello everyone, today I wanted to give you a quick video showcasing the balsam hill tree that I just picked up. I just noticed there wasn't a lot of video content showing the tree in real life in a non-promotional sense, so I just thought I would put together the pros and cons of the tree in case anyone's looking to buy it, because I know that that was something that I was looking at when it came to making such a purchase on the Christmas tree. So if you're interested in the balsam hill trees up and close, then keep watching. So this is the box it comes in. I got the Noble Fir 195 pre-lit tree um, from the Australian Balsam Hill. It came in about two days, which is really good. Um, and then when you open the box up, it basically comes with the three pieces that are wrapped in ribbon. So they're nice and tight, which is good, wrapped in bubble wrap. Um, I've also got my third piece over here. But basically you get the three pieces and I would recommend the first thing you do is put them all together to make sure the lights are all working because you have about a five day return policy. Um, and then once the lights are working, then you can go and set it up. So then we also have the package box when you want to pack it away. And then it comes with this little kit, which has extra bulbs. Um, I think this is for replacing the bulbs. Um, just some extra thing, I think, for the feet of the tree. And then you have four gloves for setup, which is really nice, I think. And then that just goes in the little kit. Um, and then as for setup, it just has the for regular four post Christmas tree kind of stand situation. That is the light there that plugs in. And then this is the main base. And then you just click it together and then it lights up automatically. Like you don't have to connect anything. So you have the main base in, this is the way the fronds look when you first get them out. So you don't have to hook them in. They come already hooked in. Um, and then when you look underneath, You'll see it has the main spine and then we have some of the traditional Christmas tree sort of leaves and then we have the classic balsam hill uh, style here where it's a little bit more realistic. The branch is broken down into three pieces too we can see here. If you look you've got the one main stem but then you have some smaller ones coming out which then end up fanning out. So I'll show you one that I've pre-styled here. You can see it has the branches that fan out towards the ends here, just making it be more like having more volume at the front. And I'll flip it up so you can see. So yeah, you can see how it breaks apart. So overall, when you see it like this, it starts to kind of disappear and you can't really see through to the back. But this is just the early stages. I will show you what it looks like when I get this done. So one thing I'm just noting when I'm styling this piece here is because this item already comes pre-lit, because it has all the strings throughout the vine, it can be kind of difficult to style this in comparison to if it wasn't pre-lit. So yes, you get the functionality of it already being done, so you don't have to work on it, but note when it comes to styling it, it makes it a little bit more difficult. And I'm also kind of wary because I don't want to break any of the... Um, lights because obviously when one goes they kind of all go so that's kind of something that's a bit difficult with these trees also just with the classic uh, noble fir fronds because they've always been compacted they're a little bit um not as clean as what they would be obviously from the style stuff online but you can fan them out pretty well and get them looking back at their best so yeah just thought i would throw that in there i'll just show you here so like how this is bent here Whereas the style, like you can style the individual front to make it better again. So it's not a big deal, but I so for method of attack when it comes to styling these branches is you sort of want it to go out in a fanning motion, but then also I do think you need to go up with some of these pieces because obviously we're going to attach something on top of this. So you don't want there to be a gap. Some people will tell you just to fan out because it looks more natural. I would rather have less gaps in the tree. So once we get past the traditional stuff, that's when we hit this point here, where we have the branches that fan out. So this kind of shows you. I would recommend touching every branch and fanning it out like so. So there is about four lead branches. And then as you can see here, we have a bit of like a cluster here that we have to sort out. So, just fanning these out. And then we have the long piece here. Same for this. So you can see that they're kind of pushed together. So you have to lift them out and then straighten them back up. And then like so. So it's a bit time consuming to do, but like every tree it kind of is. 
but I'm just letting you know because this is more of a high price item I'm just being super picky because I know myself this is the sort of stuff I wanted to know when I was looking at getting this tree and there wasn't any videos on this noble fir in particular this kind of tree from Balsam Hill nor was there something that wasn't sponsored that kind of didn't go into depth and show you the real kind of stuff. Not that there's been any real negatives, I just wanted to show the real perspective of what we're getting at here. Cool. Something that I do notice on a couple of these fronds is the slight fraying of the um, stuff that wraps it all together. It's not kind of the end of the world. But it is something that I just want to mention to other people that want to know. Like, I'm just being super picky because I think it's good to have a detail shot, an overview of the item. This is how we are looking with the base layer fluffed out. Heaps of volume. You can't really see too many gaps. And I will flick on the lights and attach that middle thing so you can see how the light system works. So this is it with the tree with the bottom and the mid section and then I've added the top section here but my main thing is is that I'm not sure how I'm going to fluff it because there seems quite a big gap in here with how these branches are formed so that's just something to take note of with how everything's looking but yeah all right so then I've looked at this a little bit more and you can actually bend these down they're just bent because of being in the box so that is handy we'll see how we go because that seems quite dense so maybe it's going to be a matter of yeah swinging around so it does take a little bit of faffing this top from it's just something to take note of you sort of have to like swing it around so if you're not, if you're a bit afraid of it, I don't blame you to get it right. But yeah. Alrighty, and this is how it looks after the full fluff. Looks pretty good. Looks similar to the shot online. You can go up here. So basically I kind of fluffed it um, out and then as it got to the top I kind of curved them upwards a bit more just to kind of fill this bit out because at the top it's a little bit more sparse because it doesn't have the traditional fronds in there all just the um, custom designed fronds um, but yeah I think from a distance it's good I also noticed that um, when you have a front like this which is turned like so you can actually go in and you can lightly twist and it forms comes out properly like so, so if you have too many that are like that, you can always go in and sort of further spruce it. But it is of course going to add to the time. So like in total, I would say to this tree, if you were to do a full fluff, it would probably take you two hours to construct. So just keep that in mind when you are constructing. But um, this is the result and I'll plug in the lights and show you how it looks. Cool. So this is it with the lights plugged in. There's a nice amount of lights there, nothing crazy. If you wanted to go with more lights, you can. I quite like this look, but yeah, this is the shot. I'll get some detail of it. Just to show you all, because I know that's what I wanted. When I was looking to purchase this tree, Okay guys, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I know that I would have definitely liked to see this video up on YouTube when I was looking to buy this tree. Just getting a detail shot because a lot of the videos online are more promotional stuff. So I like to get more up and close and personal of showing you the real thing. 
and the pros and cons. It's definitely a good purchase. I'm really happy I bought the tree. There's just those things where it's a little bit heavy, it takes a little bit of time to put together. The branches can sometimes be hard to pull apart, but you can like pull them apart and twist the fronds around to make them upright, and then the top is just a bit fiddly. But overall, it's a great tree, especially if you're in Australia and you don't really have heaps of tree options. This is totally worth the investment because you're not really gonna buy another tree if you get a really nice one, so yeah. I'm gonna do another video of how I decorate it, so keep in tune for that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.